the tomato or the tomato was a well-loved fruit or vegetable. Everything changed when UAS attacked. Hi guys, the Ujian Amali Science just finished last week and I've asked some of the students to share their experience so that all of us can learn from them. And this is what they had to say. I'm going to categorize their experience and their advice into four groups. And the first one is time management. Time must be managed really well. A second shouldn't be wasted in the two hours. Have to divide the time properly. Manage your time wisely. Don't waste your time going for the hard experiment first. Clearly, time management is very important for Ujjan Amali Science. Each subject, you are given 45 minutes and 5 minutes to plan. So make full use of that time and make sure you don't waste any time on one particular experiment. Manage your time wisely. Always check how much time you're spending and make sure you're going at a steady and quick pace. In this particular exam, the chemistry procedure was a little bit strange. Let's see what the students had to say about it. Ways of doing experiment won't be the same as textbook, so we will easily get panicked. Chemistry experiment was quite unique, sir. It took me 10 minutes to understand the procedure. Should be prepared for every twist that might happen in coming SPM. Clearly, students were surprised by the procedure and they were not prepared for it. However, let's see what this student has to say about it. Even though the experiment is a little bit different from the experiment that we've conducted in our syllabus, I still managed to answer and run the experiment smoothly because of your tips. Thanks again, sir. These are not magical tips or these are not Ramalan. These are just basic tips that I've shared with my students. And that is, focus on your variables, your manipulated variable and your responding variable. However the manipulated variable is changed, however the responding variable is recorded, that will be the core of the experiment. If you'd like to watch the tips video, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you're preparing for exam, do go through it. I find that most of my students have told me that it's helpful. The third category is about the importance of staying calm. Always relax and don't panic. Even though the paper is unpredictable, just relax and read the procedures many times. When you face a problem that you can't solve, ask for help as soon as possible instead of waiting until the end. I think this piece of advice is very helpful because during the experiment, there might come situations where either the apparatus is faulty or something may be wrong with the materials as well. In this case, if you suspect that something is wrong and you're following all the procedures and you still can't get any result or the result that you're expecting, then immediately ask for help. Ask for the apparatus and the materials to be checked so that they're functioning properly. This is especially the case when it comes to electricity experiments for physics. The third category is about doing experiments in school. You need to master and be active when handling experiments when in class, as this will help. School should really teach students how to connect circuits correctly. These students have clearly highlighted how important it is for you to pay attention when you're doing experiments in school, because that is your only practice for your real exam. That is the time for you to get used to all the instruments on how to take measurements and how to use the instruments properly. If your teacher has missed an experiment, then go and ask politely and nicely. Ask that you will be given the chance to do this experiment so that you can prepare yourself the best that you can to sit for the Ujian Amari science. There's some other advice as well. Always look out for waiting period during any experiment. This case biology. For some experiments, you need to wait before taking the reading or before marking down the observation. Do be careful to observe these waiting periods so that you don't get a wrong observation or you don't record the data wrongly. When you're sitting for your paper, this student puts it very well. It's really fun actually. Just enjoy your experiment and take it easy. Don't stress out too much about your experiments. Just read the procedures carefully and just carry out the procedures. If you feel that even though you're carrying out the procedure, something is not right, raise your hand and ask for help. Time yourself. Make sure you're always conscious about the time that has passed. Don't waste too much time on a single experiment and then lose out on the rest. Thank you so much to all the students who have shared their experience so that you guys can learn from this. 
I hope that this will help you to be better prepared for your exam. All the best to you. See you guys in the next one.